today we're going to be working on partitioning shapes. Um, some voc vocabulary that you already know that we're going to be using a lot of um, are the words rows and columns. Um, remember, rows go left to right and columns go up and down. So we made up a little song and it would say something like this. Rows, rows, left to right, left to right, left to right. Columns, columns, up and down, up and down, up and down. So as you're doing this worksheet, I really want you to pay attention to the vocabulary of rows and columns and remembering which one goes which direction. Um, I'll try to use those words as much as I can during this to just kind of help it be fresh in your brain as well. Um, so with partitioning shapes, partitioning just means making shapes into equal parts. So for example, like if you had, let's say you had some brownies and you just baked them in the oven, you used your rectangular shape pan. Um, remember, we can call this a quadrilateral, um, and you wanted to make sure that each piece was equal. You don't want to have anybody fighting over your piece is bigger than mine, and mine's bigger than yours, and all of those kinds of fun things that we know happen anyways. Um, so you need to partition, cut these things into equal pieces. Um, so in order to cut them into equal pieces, you have to have some background knowledge on math. And let me show you how that happens. So if I wanted to partition this into three rows, I'm just cutting this into three rows. Remember rows, rows, left to right. Um, and then I wanna cut them into equal pieces. This is where it gets to be a little bit tricky. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and first I'm gonna cut this in half because I need to cut this so that each of my pieces is gonna be the same. Um, and then I'm going to cut this into half again and again. So each of these squares looks to be about the same size. So I'm cutting them into equal squares. Um, my first square is about the same size as my last square in that row. And that's kind of how I want to end up having it be. Now what I've noticed in the past is when students are given, like I'm gonna just try to draw an identical rectangle here, and maybe the first couple are already drawn for you, and all of a sudden, kids go like this, and they start getting smaller and smaller. Well, let me show you how to problem solve that. Like let's pretend and we haven't even gotten into our, our problem on this. We're just trying to draw this and make the equal shapes. I'm sorry, the equal squares on the inside. So notice how this line right here, I'm gonna try to continue out that row to be about the same straightness. Now remember you do have that ruler. This might be a great time to take that ruler out. Um, then I'm gonna kinda eyeball this. Eyeball just means like take a measurement in your head. Um, so I'm gonna eyeball that. It's about this much, and I'm gonna go up. I'm going all the way across, all the way up, up, up. So this, I'm gonna just kind of go, whoop, and they're about the same. Okay, it's gonna take some practice, and you're probably gonna have a lot of eraser dust. Make sure you're saving that eraser dust for our class collection. Um, so partitioning shapes. Now remember, rows go left to right and the columns go up and down. Previously, what we had talked about were arrays. And each time we saw an array, we would write however many were in that, were, blah, blah, blah. we would write the number um, that was in each row or in each column at the end of the row or at the end of the column. You can do that same type of thing when you're creating these um, equations to go with the shapes that you're partitioning and cutting up. So let's say you're told, write an equation about the rows. Well, my rows go left to right. So if I count how many are here, I know that each of these rows is gonna be the same. All of these are equal. So my rows equation would be four plus four plus four equals, well, I can count by fours, four, eight, 12. That equals 12. Um, if I was to go through and count every single one of these little squares, I would get the same number. Well, you could also write an, a related 
um, equation, but not using force. You could write it about the columns. So my equation about the columns would tell how many were in each column. Three, 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 and three. So my columns equation would be three plus three plus three plus three, and that also will equal 12. Both of these will be the same because the number of squares that you need to cover that shape hasn't changed. Um, some of you guys might be saying, hey, well, I know how to do a multiplication equation. Awesome job. You are so smart. Um, and you're going to be super ready for third grade. Um, so you could have written an equation. Now, this is not what you need to write on your paper, but this is like, if you want to write it to the side, like, hey, I'm awesome. Um, you could write four times three equals 12. And that'll tell me that you, you're going to be ready for third grade. Um, over here, you could write three, and now there are four of them. So you could write three times four equals 12. Again, I'm expecting you to have these addition equations. You must have the addition equations. Is it cool and awesome if you know those multiplication equations? Yes, you're correct. That is super, super awesome. Um, and you can write those to the side as well. So partitioning out these shapes and making equal rows and equal columns is something that you're going to be working on in this chapter. Um, like, let's say you had a square. Remember, a square is a quadrilateral. Um, the thing that you need to know about having a square is that the number of rows and the number of columns has to be equal. So if this has four rows, it also has to have four columns. So in order to do that, um, I'm going to first cut it in half, and then I'm going to cut it in half again, and in half again. So that gives me four equal pieces. Um, I'm also going to go back this way. And I, my whole goal is to try to make it, excuse me, so that each of these has equal squares. On your paper, it might say, cover it with squares. Well, we're not in class and we do not have square tiles. So you are going to have to use your best judgment. Um, I do not want you sitting there and drawing like the tiniest squares of your life. That will take 20,000 years and you do not have 20,000 years and I don't want you to take 20,000 years. Um, that's a waste of your time and that's called busy work. I'm not having you do busy work, I just want you to get it done and have the practice of it. So, side note, that's all I need you to know. So if you had a quadrilateral and you were told that it was a square, that means that the number of rows and the number of columns has to be equal. So you could have a square with four rows and four columns. You could have a square with two rows and two columns. You could have a square with, I'm going to try to draw this, three rows and three columns. Is it okay if it's not super duper uber perfect? Yes. I want you to try your best um, at making each of these squares about the same size. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I don't want you to spend your whole life trying to make it perfect, but I, I do not want your, your shape to end up having some tiny itty bitty ones over here and some big, big squares on this side. Okay, those don't look anywhere near about the same size. That would be a, hey, yeah, you need to redo that. All right, so a square. Let's write out some equations that would go with these squares. So this one, I'm going to look at the rows. I've got one, two, three, four. I don't have to count out each one because they're equal and I have it lined up nice. So I know at the end of each of these rows, if I write the number four, that that would be the right answer. Writing an equation for this quadrilateral would be four plus four plus four. How many fours? Four plus four plus four plus four. Four fours. And I know that four, eight, 12, 16, it's 16. Like, let's say maybe you forgot that. Another way that you could use um, what we've already learned is you could say, all right, well, I know that four plus four is eight. So I'm gonna put my eight underneath there. Eight plus eight, that's 16. So all of those fours must equal up to be 16. So just remember those kinds of things that you've already learned so it can make your life a little bit easier. Um, on this one, we, if we're looking at the columns, remember, my rows and columns will be the exact same equation on here. 
if I'm looking at my rows and columns here, I've got two in each row and two in each column. So if I was to make an equation for this quadrilateral, it would be two plus two. Remember, this is gonna tell me how many squares are in there so that I don't have to count out each of the individual squares. So two plus two is four. There are four squares in that shape. Um, if I'm looking at this one, one, two, three, three are in each of these rows, and there are a total of one, two, three columns in this shape. So if I'm writing the number, I would put three. This tells me at the end of each row that there are three. So three plus three plus three. Three plus three is six, add three more, and that is nine. So this has nine squares in each, I'm sorry, in that shape. This one has four, and this other one over here has 16. If I was to cut it up, that's what it would have. I'm going to move this out of the way. So with these shapes, all of them are going to be um, quadrilaterals. Um, we're not going to be using hexagons and um, pentagons during this. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, what I want you to be paying attention to is how the wording is asking you about rows and columns. Sorry about that. Um, so like, let's look at some more shapes. So sometimes you have really long rectangles, right? Um, some of these are already written out for you <coughs> on your paper. Um, I'm gonna just, oh golly, I cannot grab this cough and it's just gonna keep <coughs> happening. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and try to make some equal pieces. Um, remember, <coughs> each of these squares, I'm pretending like they're equal. That's my best try. Um, if I was told, can you make um, an equation using the rows and the columns? Remember, the rows go this way, left and right. So if I'm counting how many are in each row, one, two, three, four, there are four in each of the rows. So there are a total of two of those rows, so I have four at the end of these rows, and that tells me that four plus four will tell me how many squares are in this shape, um, which four plus four is eight. Now, I'm gonna erase these because I know some of y'all might be getting confused. Um, I wanna discuss the columns. So the columns are like this up and down. So this one, two, those two tell me that there are two in that column. And so there's two in all of my columns because they're equal. I don't have any shapes that are very wacky. It's just equal. So two plus two plus two plus two will tell me how many that the total is for the column. Two plus two plus two plus two plus two. It should be the same number as the number um, that I got for the rows. So two, four, six, and eight is the total number of squares in that shape. So partition, partitioning the shapes, and I'm just kind of looking at my teacher notes real quick. Um, I am just cutting those into equal pieces. I'm just going to flip on through and double check that I'm good with this. Um, that was really wacky, sorry. Um, so when you're looking at the squares and you're looking at the rectangles, you are trying your super very best to make them into equal pieces. Let's do another one. Um, so each of these squares, when you're drawing these lines on here, you're trying to make them about the same size. All right, so we've got, if I was gonna count by rows, one, two, three, three in the first row, which means that in my next row, I also have three. So three plus three equals six. If I was to count out all of these squares, I would get six. Now this is just to try to quick step that. Because as you get older, you're going to have some shapes that have so, 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 so many rows and so, 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 so many columns that you don't want to sit there and count every single one of them. This is going to help you with doing multiplication. It's going to help you um, as, as you're getting older to, to do things a lot easier. Um, again, we're going to look at the columns now. Remember, rows left to right. 
the columns go up and down. Think of like the columns on a house, um, like those big cylinders that you see that are holding up some of the houses. Or even at, if you look online, you can look at some monuments and things like that. The columns, those really, really, really big, strong pillars. I don't know. Um, I just want you to have that visual representation that these are the up and down. So if I'm looking at my columns, there's two, 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 two plus two plus two equals six. My columns equation looks like this. Now again, I don't want you having to go through and thinking that you need to do multiplication equations on this. I want you to get this addition under, under wraps. If you want to do the addition equation and the multiplication equation, that is fine. But your number one goal is trying to get those addition equations down um, and making sure that it makes sense. Your rows and your columns should have an equal number. These should not be different. They need to be identical. You've got this. 